Have you ever wondered what it would be like to open a portal to a parallel universe? Imagine, if you will, the possibility of countless realities, each one existing side by side with our own, yet unseen and untouched. This isn't merely a flight of fancy, or the stuff of science fiction. This is the concept of parallel universes, a theory that has fascinated scientists, philosophers, and dreamers alike for centuries. What if, somewhere out there, in the vast expanse of the cosmos, there exists an alternate version of you, or of me? What if there are multiple versions of our world, each one slightly different, yet eerily similar? The possibilities are as boundless as the universe itself. This is the mystery we're about to delve into. We're embarking on a journey through time and space, through theory and imagination, to explore the enigmatic concept of parallel universes. Imagine if you could open a door to one of these universes. Consider an ordinary person like you or me suddenly finding a way to breach the walls of our universe. Imagine the shock, the disbelief, the sheer wonder of such a discovery. Picture yourself standing before a shimmering veil of reality, an opening in the fabric of our universe that leads to another. How would you react? Would you feel fear, curiosity, or a mix of both? Would you dare to step into the unknown, or would you retreat, unwilling to risk the potential dangers that might lie beyond? Let's assume that our hypothetical adventurer, let's call them Alex, decides to take the plunge. With a deep breath and a final glance at the familiar world behind, Alex steps through the portal. There's a moment of disorientation, a sense of being pulled and stretched, and then, nothingness. Just silence and darkness. But then, the darkness begins to fade. Shapes and colors start to form around Alex coalescing into a landscape that is both familiar and strange. The laws of physics seem to operate similarly here. Gravity still holds Alex to the ground. The air is breathable. Yet, everything else is different. The sky overhead is a brilliant shade of violet, dotted with stars that burn with a greenish hue. The trees, if you could call them that, are unlike anything on Earth, with leaves that seem to shimmer and change color with the wind. The buildings too are strange, seemingly grown rather than built, with walls that pulse with a life of their own. Alex walks around marveling at the alien sights and sounds, feeling both awestruck and terrified. The people or beings that inhabit this world are different yet similar, with faces that reflect a range of emotions. Curiosity, fear, surprise, just like Alex's. There's a language barrier of course but Alex manages to communicate through gestures and expressions. Discovering that despite the physical differences, there's a common thread of emotions, desires, and dreams that bind all sentient beings. It's a revelation that brings both comfort and a sense of kinship. Time seems to flow differently here. Hours feel like minutes, and before Alex knows it, a whole day has passed. As the green stars begin to set, casting long, eerie shadows on the landscape, Alex realizes that this parallel universe, while fascinating, is not home. But that's the beauty of hypothetical journeys, isn't it? They allow us to dream, to explore, to venture into the unknown without leaving the safety of our homes. They let us experience the thrill of discovery, the joy of understanding, and the wonder of existence in ways we never thought possible. And so, as our explorer stands in this parallel universe, a world that is both fundamentally similar, yet strikingly different from ours, Alex is filled with a sense of profound gratitude. For the opportunity to explore, to learn, to grow, and most importantly, to experience the infinite possibilities that the cosmos has to offer. Our explorer now stands in a world that is both fundamentally similar yet strikingly different from ours. What would this parallel universe look like? Let's delve into the realm of the unknown, the realm of the parallel universe. In this domain of infinite possibilities, our understanding of reality could be completely turned on its head or it could be eerily similar to our own world. Imagine a cosmos where the fundamental physical laws are tweaked. Gravity might pull sideways instead of down. Light might bend in strange, surreal ways, creating a kaleidoscope of color and shape that would be incomprehensible to our earthbound senses. Time might flow backwards, or it might stand still, creating a world frozen in a single, eternal moment. But perhaps more fascinating would be the life forms that inhabit this parallel universe. Would they be carbon-based like us? Or would they be composed of entirely different elements? Would they breathe air? Or would they inhale some other gas to survive? Would they communicate through sound? Or would they use some form of telepathy? The possibilities are as limitless as the universe itself. Now let's consider societal structures. Would they mirror our own with cities and nations? Or would they be something entirely different? 
Could there be a civilization where individuality doesn't exist, and all beings share a collective consciousness, or perhaps a society where the concept of time has no meaning, and beings live their lives in non-linear fashion, yet for all these potential differences there could also be striking similarities. Just as we gaze at the stars and wonder what's out there, beings in the parallel universe might be doing the exact same thing. They might share our curiosity, our desire to explore and understand the cosmos. The experience of stepping into a parallel universe would indeed be mind-boggling. It's a journey into the unknown, a voyage of discovery that could redefine our understanding of reality. It would be a leap into a world that's as strange and mysterious as it is fascinating. And who knows, maybe one day, we'll be able to take that leap. What happens when our explorer decides to return to our universe? The journey back, as you might expect, is no less awe-inspiring or fraught with challenges than the journey to the parallel universe. But let's consider for a moment the implications of such a return. What would it mean for our explorer and for our own universe? The fabric of space-time is a delicate thing and our explorer having traveled through the cosmic loom of another universe might not return unchanged. The laws of physics in the parallel universe could have had a profound impact on them. Perhaps they've aged differently, or their very atoms have been subtly altered. It's as if they've been woven with a different thread. A thread spun from the raw material of a universe not our own. What might these changes mean for our universe? It's a question that challenges our understanding of the cosmos. Does the return of our explorer risk tearing a hole in the fabric of our own universe, creating a cosmic rupture that could fundamentally alter our reality? Or perhaps, their return could introduce new elements, new possibilities into our universe, expanding our understanding of what's possible in this vast cosmic tapestry. The return journey is not just a physical one, but a psychological one as well. Imagine gazing into the mirror and seeing a reflection of yourself that is both familiar and alien. Our explorer, having experienced the profound and unsettling reality of another universe, would undoubtedly be left with a sense of dislocation, a cosmic homesickness if you will. And what of the knowledge they bring back? The insights gained from a parallel universe could revolutionize our understanding of reality itself. They could hold the key to unlocking new theories, new technologies and new horizons for humanity. However, the return is not without its dangers. The explorer is a cosmic pioneer, venturing into the unknown. The journey back is fraught with the same uncertainties and risks as the journey out. The explorer must navigate these challenges with courage and resilience, knowing that the journey may change them in ways they cannot yet comprehend. Returning from such a journey would leave one forever changed. The journey to a parallel universe raises many questions. With every step we take towards understanding the cosmos, we realize how much more there is to learn. The concept of parallel universes while bewildering is no exception. We've traveled through the hypothetical journey, visited an imagined parallel world, and returned with more questions than answers. It's a testament to the complexity of the universe and the infinite possibilities it holds. But isn't that the beauty of exploration? The promise of the unknown, the allure of the unfathomable, the thrill of the uncharted. We've discussed the existence of parallel universes, their potential characteristics and the implications of their reality. Yet these are mere hypotheses, theories wrapped in enigmas, shrouded in cosmic mysteries. We've looked at the potential for other versions of us, living out alternate realities in these parallel worlds. But how can we confirm this? Is there a way to communicate with these alternate selves? Could we ever cross the bridge between our universe and theirs? And if we could, what would be the ramifications? Would we disrupt the delicate balance of our universe by stepping into another? Even more intriguing are the questions about the nature of these universes. Are they mirror images of our own, or do they obey entirely different laws of physics? Could time flow backwards, or could there be more dimensions than we can perceive? And then there's the question of infinity. If there are indeed infinite parallel universes, does that mean every conceivable scenario is playing out somewhere? The mind boggles at the implications. These questions, as myriad as the stars in our universe, are what drive us forward in our quest for knowledge. They push the boundaries of our understanding, challenge our perceptions, and ignite our curiosity. While we may not have all the answers, the exploration of parallel universes remains a fascinating journey of the mind, and so we continue to explore, to question, and to wonder. Because in the grand scheme of the cosmos there's always another mystery waiting just beyond the horizon.